Hey there, signs of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do a quick reading for you. Um, it's supposed to be for your next 48 hours, but it's really whenever you can apply it to your situation. So let's get started calling in your spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power. Let's get some messages for Sagittarius. Messages, messages for Sagittarius. Um, higher self. All right, so. Thank you for subscribing, guys. Thank you so much for liking. If you want a private reading, I do those per donation. So check out description box below. And we're going to get started here with the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. All right. More Sagittarius. The issue. Temperance. Christ, so needing to have patience for divine timing. Uh, this card kind of indicates that there's some people that might not be getting along in your vicinity, and it might be due to opposites, you know, having to get along because of opposites. Um, balancing, balancing out differences. That's also what I see there. The challenge, the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, to me, it can be a card of rebirth in the sense that you're completely down. You're not getting back up from that state unless you're getting up a new person. So I look at that as rebirth, 10 of swords. The root issue here is the world. So this is about a new chapter, a new beginning for you and something that really needs to start. And I think that's what maybe the impatience is about knowing that probably having an understanding that everything is in divine timing, but still kind of being like, I don't want to wait for it, which is completely normal, completely normal. Past position is queen of coins. So this may be, um, let me go over the signs real quick too. So the world could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Virgo, and temperance could be Sagittarius. Queen of coins or queen of pentacles could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, this is a person that may work from home in the past, somebody that is used to having the status quo, so somebody that is used to having the finer things in life around them and for their family. And with that being in the past, there may have been an interruption in the status quo energy. Present situation, five of swords, arguing conflicts may be around you right now at this time. Arguing or conflicts looks all right right you can still see him <laughs> and then um, how you are feeling is the eight of wands so you're feeling like oh no this isn't what you're feeling I'm sorry <laughs> I'm going so fast that I'm trying to get them done tonight the eight of wands is a near future so the near future energy is good news coming to you so whatever good news you're looking for either in the mail email, phone, text, whatever kind of good news you're looking for coming for you in the near future. Now, how are you feeling? Four cups. So yeah, th this waiting feeling is kind of like, ugh, ho-hum. It's um, making you kind of withdraw in yourself and um, quite frankly can be kind of boring. This energy could be kind of boring. External. Eight of Cups, feeling like leaving a situation behind you. And look, we have eight, eight here. So we do have news or somewhat news of prosperity coming in. I think this is near future about this good news. But you are going to put a situation to rest and leave it behind because it was just too disastrous for you to clean up. Okay, hopes and fears. We have the seven of wands. Um, either you're fearing about having to stand up for yourself and defend for yourself, or it might have to do something with stress, stressed out, being stressed out. No, let's put that there. And then the outcome, overall outcome, page of wands. So this is uh, good news, guys. This is my good news card. The page of wands is this message coming in as the outcome as good news again could be a child fire sign all right so we're gonna do before we close out this reading because like I said I'm trying to get them done tonight that's why I'm hurrying through it um 
I hope it benefited you in some way. Let's get the angel answers and go ahead and ask yourself, uh, to yourself, you know, a yes or no question, and we'll get some answers for you. So, two questions. Here's the first one. Go ahead and think of your question. Improving health. Improving health. Health can come in the forms of many things, right? We can have a healing in our bodies, emotions, relationships, careers, all kinds of things. So think of another question for us. So the, yeah, the second one always comes out really fast. So there's unlikely for the second question. Ah, uh, Let's do one more. Let's do one more. So one more question. Yes or no for the angels. Perfect timing. That's what you're waiting on, divine timing there. You're waiting on the perfect timing for something to happen. So, guys, like I said, I hope you uh, got something from that. I'm sorry it was a little bit fast, but there you go, Sagittarius. Send you love and light. Bye-bye.